Hello everyone, this is Professor Reha, your host for this grand walkthrough of um, Grim Dawn. Thank you. Uh, this is the directed improv walkthrough, once again. And this time, we'll be going... Pardon me. We'll be going in, now that I am all done with finals, we will be going into the glorious, fantastic land of the... Steps of Torment. I just wanted to double check these items here. This is level 36. This is level 55, so that's fine. We need new. These actually all should be fine because they're all high enough level and I don't have anything comparable, I don't think. Hold on, I actually need to put these blue items in here as well. Uh, we can actually take these and put them where they actually belong. And put this where, over here where it belongs. And put all of these over here. Good. All right, now that we've cleaned up house, do we have... Okay, we have some vitality resistance there. We don't have any cold? All right, we don't have any colds. So we're going to want to craft that. You don't want to go down there without your cold resistance. Uh, badge of Mastery? 58. All right. Uh, we probably still won't get to that point. I think I have most of the amulets back that I lost. Pretty sure. Um, anyways, Vitality, might want to make another one of those, but I'm not sure. Frost Shroud, Dense Fur, probably make a, yeah, we'll probably make one of those. And we need a Sanctified Bone. So, let's see, Sanctified Bone, we need four Purified Salt. Here we go, Sanctified Bone, excellent. And we need a Dense Fur. There we go. Okay, good. Death Whisper Ointment and Frost Shroud. Yes. Uh, what about... some... Royal Jelly Solve? There we go. I think that's all we'll really need. Alright, so this is just a jaunt through the Broken Hills getting to our destination of orbits. If we finish this fast enough, we may go on ahead and push through to finish the game afterwards. It really depends. Alright. Alright, that kind of worked out. That was a bit touch and go for a hot second there, but... We eventually resolved the problem. Whew. Okay. Oh, you move fast, don't you? Now, nah, let's not do that, huh? Let's let's not. Thank you. Oh, wait, there's a polished something or other. Polished emerald. Actually, we may hit level 54 before we even get to what's his name. That'd be nice. I'm getting a pretty decent amount of experience for a lot of these guys. And just absolutely mop the floor with these fools. Come back here to hell with these fools. Yeah, that's right. Land in the fire. Trust me, it's fine. We'll go this way. Uh. Hey, I suppose it really doesn't make a difference. I probably don't have enough health potions for this either, but that's fine. Yeah, we're just about... We're almost at the... So we almost have the kinds of equipment and abilities we need to actually do the kind of setup we need. Energy's a little lower than I'd probably prefer. It's a bit touch and go on the energy portion of this deal, definitely.
but that's okay. We'll we'll solve that as time goes on. Really, what we really need is a new belt. Oh, you're right here. That's the problem here. All right. Okay. That Aether. Didn't see that coming. Was that another hero there? Did I just kill another hero and that's what that was? I couldn't really tell. Should have used Blight, to be honest. That would have been the smart move. I keep forgetting I have that, to be completely honest. But that is okay. Off we go. Now, it's not necessarily required at this particular stage for us to necessarily beat the Steps of Torment. We just really, at the very least, need to kill the target, which would be the guy who holds the Archive of the Untold. We're not actually looking to necessarily go all the way through, although if we can, we should. But it's not a strict requirement. If we die here, then we'll just finish up the, uh, the main campaign and come back next time, next episode. There's no real rush. After all, each time, because of the, the pretty impressive scaling on enemy levels in this area and also in the Steps of Torment, there's it's really not a huge problem if you die and have to come back because that's just a little bit more experience, a little more potential for loot. Even if you lose your experience from that first death in the Steps of Torment, you can make up for that with a repeat trip and potentially get more equipment. Which, if you're starting a character from scratch and you don't have a whole lot, see, usually, here's the real problem here, is that, and this has been a, a problem I'll be struggling with until this character is level 100, but unlike with, while I was able to pull some items from other characters that I had, unlike with the Taken, who was level 93 and had some probably probably had some gear that this combination or, or some combination could have used all the way up to level 100, which you ideally would want. You would want a, at least some equipment that you can put onto your combination when you're starting an Elite, so you can smoothly scale all the way up. A lot of the equipment I had pretty much stopped at around level 35, late 30s, possibly. There was I had some level 50 equipment uh, for this combination, but a lot of it was the generic stuff from the blacksmith, which is fine. It worked out. But I didn't have as much stuff f potentially for the extreme late levels as the Taken did. And unfortunately, wherever, whatever time I pulled this cloud save from was before I got any characters to level 100. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure how far back this cloud save came from. But it, it was from before my first level 100 character. So I believe my... One of my, I think my highest level character at the time of this cloud save was 73, 75. So there's not a whole lot of equipment past that point. And you're going to see me having a little bit of a problem. It's going to be almost like improv, uh, full improv, except I have an actual, you know, specified direction to take it. Yeah, there's level 54, which is nice. But I have an actual focused idea of where I want the build to go. I just accidentally put down a rift, but that's not a bad thing. So that is the main difference at this point. But yeah, at this particular juncture, I'm pretty much on my own in terms of equipment because I don't have the kinds of equipment you would ideally want and you at home will probably have access to. You're going to have better equipment than I will. And from this point forward, actually, probably from level 35 onwards, in all honesty, you're going to have a much easier time even with the same combination because you're just going to have more stuff than I did, which is totally fine. I can adapt with some difficulty, but I can do it. And if you are playing a combination you don't have any equipment for, you absolutely can adapt too. Just understand that it's not going to be quite as easy as it could be if you had maybe some of the stuff that you would need. What is the bonus here, by the way? Physical resistance, pierce resistance, of course. But that's not going to go... That doesn't affect the... Uh, the key dungeon, so I don't much care. Alright, 
Alright, that worked out fairly nice. The, I remembered my blight this time, and that worked out really well. But there's somebody shooting me in the corner, and it's very problematic. That was nice. You. Stop that. Thank you. Well, that was nice. Nice thing about skeletons is they move slow enough where a lot of the time you can kill them before they get to you. Except for these knights, but that's about the only consistent threat, and even then they don't even hit that hard. And the priests, of course, are something of a potential issue as well. Obviously. Gotta keep an eye out for those. Always prioritize. Huh. There's, I'm pretty sure there's some spooky, scary skeletons down here. I was absolutely correct. There we go. <laughs> this random ghost. <laughs> Alright. We're not even going to go down the other way. We're just going to... We're just basically going to cut through as quickly as possible. Keep it nice and simple. Ooh, hello. All right. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, good. Wait, pick those up. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. You stop that. You stop that. Thank you. Alright, this is a bit of an issue. There we go. Stop punching me. Holy cow. Anyone else want to show up? We good? There we go. Thank you. There we go. There we go, capital. Just go ahead and get rid of all these fools. Come on, get out of the way so I can take out this guy. Thank you. I mean, I don't have enough energy for that. I do now. Now I can focus on you. There we go. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Perfect. But you're gonna you're gonna act tough, huh? Oh yes you are. It's a level of tough I can't deal with. Oh he died, okay. I was throwing stuff out there for no reason. Ah oh, man, he didn't stay long enough. That's fine, though. Let's get him on the turnaround. Oop. Okay. I didn't think I was going to take up that much damage from him, so let me. That's what I get. Fortunately, we have a rift down in there. Not quite as far down as maybe one would ideally like, but... I should have put one down when I got to the next floor, honestly. And let me see here. So... 
so far without having used any potions. We're doing an okay job of surviving. I mean, yes, I died right there, but it was mostly because I got arrogant and didn't heal myself. A common issue. But if I pay attention, I, I shouldn't really have that much of a problem. Oops. Pressed the wrong button there. There we go. Just, there's ghosts that almost always ambush right. Okay, there was two ghosts this time. Fair enough. Oops. Seem to be getting mobbed here. There we go. Oh, a ghost. I, that was a stupid thing to say. Oh, a hero. A keen observer of the obvious fear my wrath. Oh, a ghost. Ooh, spoopy. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Oh, my goodness. Send help. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, a ghost. Yes. How did you tell? Was it obvious? Hello. How you doing? Oh, someone's shooting me. Oh, there's a lot of problems right here. Ooh, you're fast. Hold on. Um... Call him BS. Nice shield. Can I have it? I don't actually intend to use it, but I intend on... Yes, I can. I thought it was. I thought it was an artifact of some kind. I was right. Can you not... Thanks. No, I said don't. Okay, how do I get your attention? So early in the morning? No, stay away from me. I didn't ask for this. Is my sickle of consumption larger than normal? Does my sickle make me look fat? There we go. Ladies, check out my sickle. Mwaha! <laughs> that one was kind of a bad joke. I'm, I apologize for that one. <laughs> I think we shall mutually agree I never said it in the first place. Can you drop dead for the second time in your existence? Thank you. What might have been of all the saddest words in the English language, the saddest are these, it might have been. It might have been a useful weapon if I wasn't sworn to the dual wielding. A dual wielding. Two handed weapon of glory. There we go. Hello. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, anguish. How I missed you. People should throw more eyeballs. There we go. Hello. That hurt. Don't do that. Thank you. I'm going to put a rift down right here because that's how confident I am that I win this fight. There we go. Look at that. Expertly placed. Now the problem we're going to encounter here is that this guy is relatively resistant to fire. So we're just going to have to run around like a maniac and die. 
All right, I'm gonna need a flame drinker ointment. I have a couple, so that's not a huge deal. But clearly, clearly, I don't have the fire resistance for this. Clearly. Oh, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be a problem then, huh? We're gonna do it this way. Okay, I see you. Nope. Yep. All right, that's that's not cool. Recording me like that. All right. This is gonna be a problem. I don't know why he would go down there so early. That just makes no sense. But okay. At least it's just him now, so there's that. Can we move out of the way? No, we're just going to have to bounce back and forth then. As you summon more dingle poppers. Yeah, I'm going to die. Because I can't move back. And he won't leave. He won't get out of there and I can't move past him. Ah, this is going to be a pain in the neck. I need more flame drinker ointments too. What is that? Molten skin, I think? Or a flint? One or the other. Molten skin. Yeah, I thought so. I hope he gets out of the way. I just need to get around him so I have at least the space with which to move around and maneuver. That's really what's killing me here, is the fact that I can only go back and forth, and very slightly to the left or right. Not nearly enough to be able to dodge most of his abilities. Granted, the lightning bolt is impossible to dodge, which I still call BS on that. I'm aware of the fact that I have a bolt, but I would rather sacrifice my guaranteed hit with that to be able to get away from Lunatic Boy here. Yeah, he's just going to pin me down in the corner and make it absolutely impossible to get by him. This is going to be a pain in the neck. Can I? Oh, I can get around you now. There we go. He must have moved over far enough. That's a relief. It's not going to do that much, but the chaos damage will do a little bit of damage, so... I mean, if you want to stay on that bridge forever, that'd be fine with me, guy. Nope. All right. Now that I have room to maneuver... All right. Uh-huh, that's fine. Primarily, it's those meteors that are going to do a ma the lion's share of the damage. Anguish, of course. All right. He wasn't paying attention, so I decided to take advantage of it. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Nope. Ah. He's still standing right next to the bridge, too. Okay, but we got him almost down. So while he will have healed some from that... I stood still too long. I got hit by that meteor. Pretty sure the meteor has dropped my uh, fire resistance. I'm pretty sure with that that's what the big problem with those are. That's why they hit so hard. I'm pretty sure. Don't, get, don't quote me on that, but it's only what I believe so far. Yeah, you're blocking the way again. Yes, we're going to be deeply pleasant about this, once again. At this point, my main hope is to kill him before he kills me. There we go. And that worked. Alright. I got his archive, which is pretty sweet. It's a pretty good one, too.
don't need that, but that's whatever. And some free experience. Alright. So that was overall okay. Got my ex most of my experience back. And we're going to go back and sell our stuff. We're going to clean out our inventory as usual. You should always do this before entering any key dungeon. Clean it out as much as possible. Buy the potions you may or may not need. A lot of the stuff we don't need to keep. I need that, though. Uh, probably need to check that against something I already have. I already have that. Alright. And then we'll s we'll check the the crossbow. Oh, wait, there's a ring here I need to sell. There we go. Store the rest of this nonsense. Uh, do I have any kind of recent crossbow? No, all my crossbows are old. Yeah, that's fine. It's old enough where it's, it's fine. And we need to sell that badge because we don't need that either. Oh, I have a stash of potions. I did not notice this. All right. We'll take all these in. I didn't even realize I had those in there. I don't know how many of you have been just standing there screaming at me. And, You've got potions in your inventory, in your stash. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Sorry. I'm not observant. All right, let's see how this goes. Gates of Anguish. Chains of Anguish. Theme? Yes. Sadit? Hell yes. All right. Okay. We are taking absolutely no risks that we don't need to. Okay, he's gone. You're gone. You got absolutely decimated, holy cow. Okay, that worked out quite well. Whew, okay. That can sometimes... I have died there even with a full crew of family there. It's, it's happened. Granted, we were much less experienced at the time, but it has happened. So I've always, since then, treated it with a certain amount of caution. You only make that mistake a couple of times. Not going around any corner I don't need to. There we go. Knew it. But it worked out. It's fine. This is the real challenge here, the crucible. I believe it's a crucible. Right? Isn't that what they call this thing? It's the bone reliquary, never mind. Alright. Oh, you know what? I think I just activated the chaos thing, and I did not need to. Okay. Here we go. Activate this too, why not? And wait, where's my... There. I almost died there. That was fairly close. Cool. <laughs> nope. Oh, okay. That was not good. That was the anguish for the most part. 
I probably, I, I actually, that's not even probably, I really need to pull that off. It's just killed, it's killing me too many times. This, it's not even the resistance decrease alone that I can deal with the resistance drop. It's the decrease in movement speed that's really killing me. Can I yet make any kind of really good belt? 65 would be really good. That would work. We also have this. Which we could make. I lose a lot of potential damage, but it's... Honestly, I need to... I need to drop the belt. Rift Stone and Anti-Venom. Okay. That can be arranged. I'm not too broken up about the death, though. Like I said, I can just go back down there. Uh, make another attempt. It's fine. This is a good belt. Yeah. Good enough. Alright, we're gonna store the Chains of Anguish. It's just killing me too many times. It's a different story if you're a melee character. It works a little better for melee because you don't necessarily have to dodge a whole lot. Um, but it's killing me too much with the way it is. As it stands now. But that's okay. We can deal with that later. That's not a problem. We'll just finish the main campaign. In that case. We have plenty of time to do her quest. It's not like it needs to happen right this very moment. We need to take out the blood wagons, which doesn't take that long, honestly. If you can find them quick enough. Excellent. Now, where is this blood wagon? There it is. That was a nice shot. He's coming up for me. <laughs> That's, that's the interesting thing about playing this combination. It is absolutely devastating in terms of damage, but it dies to everything. This this is a very glass cannon -y build. I've mentioned this one or two times before, I'm pretty sure. I know at least one other time I've described it as such, but... There we go. Oop. There we go. So that's been taken out. That was the west, so now we need the north. Which is right up here, I think, somewhere. Very nice. The Arcanus Bloodsworn Scepter is pretty spicy. Love to see that, love to see that. There's the other one down there. So we'll go down there and take that out while we're here. Whoop. I win. Oh, I took out the uh, wagon. Okay. You burnt to death, right? You do not burn to death. All right, fair enough. And wait, hold on. I think we can just go this way, right? Pretty sure? Oh, hello. Might as well help my Black Legion fellows out. Okay, good. We'll go for this. 
go for this totem up here. We'll go the long way around because I'm kind of expecting the other blood wagon to be over here somewhere. But it's just not happening. Nice. Alright, there we go. Excellent. Beautiful. Yeah, vampiric this fool. Alright. He vampiric. Oh, there's the other. I can just go from the uh, rift, though. Hit the blood wagon, take out the um, totem, and then just clean up. Not too bad. Okay. Yeah, I think I can just go from here. Yes. There we go. And here's the last... Oh, okay. I've bit off a bit more than I can chew here. There we go. Bit touch and go, but we got it. We got it. I'm going to take you guys out before I go back to the totem because they're just going to follow me over there and be a pain. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants puberty either, but I guess I'm going through it again. Hold on. None of this. None of this absolute nonsense. Thank you. Oop, that was a really bad shot. A uh, bad throw, technically, but same difference. There. Now that I've wiped out most of the enemies in this area, I think it's pretty safe for me to go pretty much free roam wherever. Are you by yourself? Did you not get followed by your friends? Oh, you have made a very bad mistake. I have damaged you in one-on-one. -on -one. Not even a problem. I don't know where you came from, but... Okay. The Rift Warp... Don't I... Isn't that what I'm currently armed with? Yes. Another Rift Warped Grasp. It's supposed to be some kind of sign. My goodness. Let me see. Don't do a physical or aether. Belt is not going to work. All right. And I guess now we just wander on down and get rid of Ligorian, or however you want to pronounce his name. All right, down we go, then. We'll probably hit level 55 at the conclusion of this. This is going to be a bit interesting, because they're going to be resistant to my chaos and vitality the chaos and vitality portions of my damage, so this should be fairly interesting. But, with Dreek's evil eye and some nifty, well, some of them are going to be resistant to the fire, some of them won't be. Like, these vanguard guys clearly are, but the worms, those worm guys aren't really. And of course, the Cultists aren't. Cultists are just silly. Children playing before. Monsters. Shaman's blood swarm scepter, eh? Not bad. Not bad at all. Huh. 
so far it's working out okay. Not anything particularly horrific. Take you out. There we go. Any stragglers? No, just death. Cool. All right. Very nice. All right, good. And now... You absorbed the shot for him. You sacrificed yourself for your ally. I doubt you have actual friends. You're demons. I mean... I, I just don't... I'm not buying it, you know? Seems... Uh, demon with friends? That's pretty sus. Come on, hit me. You can talk all you want. It's not going to help you any. This is just a shortcut. Also funnels them in nicely. Some free loots. <laughs> he killed himself on my retail damage. Nice. None of that's useful. No, he is upset. What a shame. <laughs> wow. Boom. Oh, oh, hold on. You're actually a problem. You guys are tough. Or not. I keep walking into that. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a big no on that one, thanks. Bye. -bye. Yeah, we need to actually go down these stairs, don't we? Silly me, I almost forgot. nice thing about this setup is that once you start shooting, they have to come to you, so you can set up as much as you want in between. Ooh. There we go. And then we just... No, 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 I think we go over here, don't we? Yeah. Come along now. You must know that that was useless. That's interesting. That's very nice, actually. That's pretty potent. That's a lot of great resistances that I really desperately need. Oh, well, the poison acid, not quite as much, but... The Aether and Chaos, I absolutely can use all day long. Thank you. And I believe it gives me, yeah, 5% experience gain, which is nice. Oh, your poison acid is big sauce. What are you doing, guy? Your melee attack's not so weak sauce, but... Oop. No, nah, we're not gonna do that. Thank you. No slapping. No slapping. No slapping. Excuse me. 
Can you please stop trying to slap me? Thank you. No, you're trying it again. You're not supposed to do that. I don't know why I keep trying to throw the Dreeg's evil eye at him. It's fairly obvious that he's going to be resistant to most of that damage. <laughs> A blood of Cathan. Nice. Free real estate. The door is opened. I have been chosen. There we go. That's just a good time. Alright, nice. And I just gotta work our way through here really quick. I might even hit uh, level 55 before I get to Ligorian. Maybe. Only time will tell. Oop. Bit more trouble than I was expecting here. Oh, we're fine. We got it. I still haven't found replacement pants. None of them are good enough. They've had more armor, but not the resistances I need. Ah, uh, quit belching. No one cares, guy. Well, so notice how much more success I have now that I'm not slowed down half the time. I swear anguish activates more than its 10% would actually indicate. Pretty sure there's a conspiracy somewhere involved there. Alright. Nice. We did not get blasted by the stupidness this time, which is fairly convenient. Alright. Let me just run in the opposite direction that I need to go in. Oops, actually, that's cut off this time. Usually that's the way I have to go. This is actually the first time in a long time I've had to go this way. Unless I'm hallucinating. There we go. Oh, yeah, let me walk right into the stupid attack. Nice. Good job, me. Oh, no, this is the way I normally have to go. Never mind. I'm just crazy. Alright. I did not expect to take that much damage in that short amount of time. So much for level 55? Huh. Now I have to do some running, because I keep forgetting to put down rifts. Darn. At least it's not that long of a run now that I've cleared out most of the enemies. So that's fairly nice. Excuse me. Get out of here. I didn't even know what gave you the audacity to do that. My goodness. Cultists these days. Get so out of hand so quickly. So. Let me see. When I get to Ligorian, I'll have to definitely slap on one of the Vitality Resistance things just to give me a little bit of an edge. I don't need it, never mind. should probably make a, uh... I'm not sure where you guys came from or why you didn't die already, but okay. Uh, I'm going to need a Chaos one, though. I should probably make that. But at least once we're done with the, this part here, once I'm done with Ligori and all, end the episode, and then next episode we'll make another attempt at the stem, Steps of Torment, but I won't have the belt, the, the chain of anguish on, so that won't be slowing me down, and I won't be dying quite as easily. The main crux of the problem with anguish as an activated skill, we're going to pretend it actually activates 10% of the time like it claims. 
The problem for a ranged character is the movement speed not being able to escape from those like little circles of death. While that is to some extent a problem for melee characters as well, it's much less of a problem because generally speaking, melee characters have slightly better uh, armor. Usually. It's not always necessarily true, it's just that a lot of the classes that tend to be better with melee weapons do better with defensive items. They usually have better defensive armor. Now there's going to be a couple of people countering, well, you know, casters like this combination here have better resistances, and broadly that's true, but you can still see a distinct problem in my Aether resistance, my Chaos resistance, and my Elemental resistances could also do with a little bit of a boost as well. So, on one hand, yes, caster equipment does generally, broadly speaking, have better resistances. This is not necessarily constant, since the game doesn't... Grim Dawn, and this is the beauty of it, Grim Dawn does not look at itself very heavily in that kind of direction. There is a slight suggestion that there is caster and melee and stuff type armor, but it's a very minor... See, these guys are just popping out of the woodwork. That's the, the problem is. But it's a very minor self-definition. And it does not, by any stretch of the imagination, heavily invest in the idea of such. It's just vaguely suggested every now and then. What do you mean you survived? A totem. Interesting. I want it. For the experience and equipment. Uh, we'll take these people out first, though. Because I see this becoming a problem. Hey, look at all these, like, attacks. These guys swinging their axes around. That would have been a problem if I had anguish on. Oops. Speaking of problems, I'm going in the complete wrong direction for this. Oh wait, hold on, we can loop around. There we go. Are those gloves worth it? Heavens no. So far, so good. There we go. Almost had a problem there. Whoa! I put down a rift, though. I shouldn't have stopped to throw that other one quite then. That guy that ran quickly was too close. He was too close for that. should have recognized that, but I did not. I thought I could get away with it. I was incorrect. Put this a little closer. Alright, so who's still hanging around specifically over here? No one? Alright. Means I can get my grave in peace. Alright, let's see who we can kill from a safe distance. Okay, we have you. Clean. Oh, you're just instantly dead. Nice. More demon fire. Helps keep me alive. Cool. A lot of this is going to be absolutely trash. Any good two-handed guns? Nah. Okay, there's something. I mean, it's not... The problem is... Well, it's... The essential issue here is that it reduces my elemental resistances by quite a lot. I need the chaos resistance, and the armor is good. The fire damage increase is nice. But my elemental resistances... Well, I suppose at this particular junction, I need the chaos resistance, but I don't need the... Alright, I don't have the cunning for that, so we're going to leave that alone for a second. Wait, hold on. 
Okay, and then this might... Nope, still not quite enough. No, these boots are terrible compared to the ones I currently have on. Can I actually go up this way and get somewhere significant? There's a hero over here, so I guess that's fine. Actually, we're going to fight you inside of here. Okay, your fire damage wasn't that bad. Almost got me, though. That's that's a dead end. But that's okay. That means we have to go this way. Boom. And you're gone. Excellent. Boom. We go this way, I think. It's kind of a guessing game at this point. There we go. Another Shaman's Bloodsworn Scepter, which is fairly interesting. No, I don't have a problem with it. Okay, I completely whiffed that silver shot. Deeply unfortunate. That's the second time I whiffed the silver shot. What are you doing, punk? Or just dying? Came over here to die, okay. It's the Chthonic Graveyard over here, apparently. I completely whiffed that really bad. Leave a little gift behind for the people following me. Nope, come on. There you go. Oh, you're a hero. That's what the problem here is. Alright. Did not instantly realize that. Took me a bit. But we made it through. Somehow. Pretty close to the end here, so we're going to slap that down. And you're just going to be an unholy pain. Literally. Yeah, you can taste the power of my... I don't even want to tell you. Your thugs... Okay, your thugs cannot back off in time. This is where we're going to go ahead and craft our increased chaos resistance, because holy cow, we're going to need it. 60% is not enough. We'll sell some of our regular generic crap, too. Since we have a lot of that lying around, we need that hat. Alright. Put this over here, put this here, put this here. Actually, we can do some side-by-side -side comparisons while we're here. Uh, let me see. This gives additional fire's might, so that's just automatically going to be more effective, so we'll sell that one. As for this, shamans, shamans. Wind Devil versus Storm Touched. Interesting. This is more attack speed. We'll get rid of this one because Wind Devil is less useful to uh, a cultist. So that's the one that goes. Alright, good. Good enough. Now what we need is the Chaos Resistance Potion. Oops. You know, not putting those away would be nice. Uh, which one is this? There it is. Riftstone. Bloodbound women. There we go. All right. And then here we go. My vitality resistance is fine. That's not the problem. The problem is my chaos resistance. There it is. All right, let's tango. You're still hitting like a steam engine. Cool. Can you stop throwing those, please? Holy cow. All right. Uh, 
Okay. Alrighty. Ligorian is easier than this guy, honestly. That's not even a joke. He'll die to the poison, I think. Yeah. Zip by while you're otherwise busy. Now you leave. Uh huh, yeah. You're an idiot. Alright, I was hoping to not get hit by that, but here we are. Oh, spine tentacle. Here we go. Oh, it's useless. <laughs> Come on over, son. Ah, uh, now we gotta pull back a little bit here. That was pretty nice. Yeah, not dying to the chaos thing would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it now? There we go, he just walked right to his death. Ah, oh, of course, pets. Although, this is a really fun item. Gonna give you that much. One day. All right. So, in we go. We came out of that one fairly well. Uh, we're gonna go up here for the chests first though, and the bonus enemies. Because what is life without some bonus enemies? Up the sleeve. Are you spitting at me, fool? Did I say you could spit at me? No, I did not. Get out of here. Oh, swine tentacles of the deep. What is your anger? There we go. Yeah, get over yourselves. Stop that there. We still have our potions on, so let's go. Yeah, do you mind if I just chill back here and... See, the reason why that guy, by the way, I never actually addressed this, but the reason why he was such a problem is because he's technically human, so my silver shot didn't do quite as much to him as it would as it's going to do to Ligurian here. So, uh, that's mainly that problem. I'm going to heal off the tentacles, because that's actually a lot easier. Actually, we're just going to do that really quick. This is just a matter of basically managing your time between Ligorian and the things he summons. Now we're going to come over here and just deal with these guys individually. Not really, because they just respawn constantly anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. Fortunately, they're pretty weak sauce. There's just a lot of them being the main issue here. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that healed him a lot. 
There's just so many guys running around. Go for a flame drinker too, why not? After the initial wave dies though, it's generally a little bit easier, because they don't come back quite as strong after that first wave. Get out of here. Yeah, see, now that I've taken care of those first guys, it's not quite as bad. I don't know what happened to this tentacle, but okay. Yeah, 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 lightning everywhere. Chthonic rifts all over the place. No, the rum is gone. It just it, terrible tragedies all around. There we go. This tentacle is being a bit of a problem. Oops. All right. You need to get out of my face. Thank you. I think I've got him on the ropes here. Yeah, it's just going to take me a bit because I don't want to die at the last possible second here. There we go. The tentacle, one of the tentacles stuck around though. Just very indecent of it. Great. I got so many amazing items. Much wow. My goodness, that was absolutely useless. Ah, well, we got some experience for it. And then we just roof back to Forticon. Skip the cutscene, and then we'll be all set. Where's my book? There it is. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. We'll get rid of this stuff later. So, just so you can know specifically what's going to be going on in the future, I am going to keep on working on Demon Fire. I really want to get that reduced target damage. That's very nice. You can see huge increases in the chaos damage here. It is really nice. And what's also particularly nice about Demon Fire, I've never actually talked about this, but the increase in burn damage means that the, da uh, the dot that it inflicts is increased. So, they only have to pass through it for a second to get more benefit out of it. Once I'm done with Demon Fire, I'm going to start working on Second Right and Destruction. Probably Destruction first, so I can start to drain more life from that. And then go into Second Right, get that nice free vitality resistance, and get some extra damage out of my shots. Once I'm done with that, Static Strike. The extra, the, the, the percentage chance of lightning damage, although it's not a huge deal, at least will give me some recourse to Chthonics, who aren't usually that resistant to lightning. And the chance to knock down targets obviously only affects smaller enemies, but it can help, especially since I've got the AoE of the explosive strike to some extent. Anyways, so that'll work out quite well. As for actual journeys, we're going to make another attempt at the Steps of Torment next episode. And then once we're done with that, we'll probably do Gloomwald. 
So that being said, thank you all very much for joining me. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or ideas, or what have you, just leave them down in the comment section below. I do read them. If you liked this, please like and subscribe. And uh, thank you all very much for joining me. Have a great 24 hours.